Hi guys, welcome back to today's video. So today we are going to be taking the no makeup makeup look to the next level, like to the ultimate level. Now this is probably the true no makeup makeup look. Um, like there's there's no other there there's no other no makeup makeup look that compares to this, and you guys are going to love it. You're going to absolutely love it. So what we have today is the Boomstick Trio. Now, I'm pretty sure you've all seen Boomstick. For some reason right now, it's been like all over social media. You can't watch any YouTube video without seeing an ad for Boomstick. And like this is probably one of the best things for mature skin um, or your Anybody who just wants a nice, healthy, you know, highlighted glow with the most healthy products without adding a whole bunch of layers of makeup. Um, if you have clear skin and you don't have a lot of discoloration like I do, um, then this is like probably the best thing that ever happened to you because I have a lot of discoloration. I have redness. I have some brown spots here and there, freckles. Um, and I'm going to try this. I haven't even tried it yet. So I'm going to try this and I got it like a week ago. It comes in this cute little, um, this cute little, what do you call this? Package? Um, you know what I mean. And it's made out of like, um, I don't know what type of material this is, but it's probably all natural. And it says boom in the front and trio in the back. So this is the Boomstick Trio. Um, and it comes with some information like other things, but this was like the main thing I felt like to best describe it and to best explain it. Um, so Boom is a family run company and our customers mean the world to us. So thank you for being here. Thank you for helping us continue to pro-age revolution and the legacy our founder, Cindy Joseph, began so many years ago. By purchasing our Boomstick Trio, you now have the original pro-age cosmetics. These three sticks are designed to give every woman the look of health, happiness, vitality, and joy. You can apply all three on any skin tone, this is for every skin tone, to bring out your natural beauty at every age. So please enjoy your boomsticks. Um, so this is what they look like. There are just two or three little sticks um, with the product in it. And so I'm going to describe each one as fast as I possibly can. Now the first stick we have is, it's they're in these cute little um, tubes and it's kind of like chapstick, like a balm um, consistency. And this one right here is the Universal Moisturizing Stick. Now, this um, can be used on your face and entire body. Um, you can carry it with you for like a quick touch up if you're out and about. And it shows you how to apply each one and where on your face to apply it to. So, I mean, it's not, you don't have to do it exactly this way, just you can use it, you know, to each, to your own liking and where you want, um, you know, the shine to be kind of like a highlight highlighter, but it's, it's more of the moisturizing um, stick. So it says to prepare for your makeup. So you can literally wear this under your makeup or you can wear it alone. Um, glide the boomstick blow anywhere you need moisture, including across your forehead, down your nose, under your eyes, around your mouth, and on your lips to instantly deliver a powerful dose of hydration. So, and then you just blend it with your fingers. So it shows you on there where to apply it. Um, I'm just going to apply it the exact same way that they recommend, and it's across your forehead. Now, I just did my skincare, very minimal skincare, but I did skincare. I didn't want to add a bunch of moisturizer and stuff because you know how it balls up, like we don't want that. So I'm going across my forehead. Um, it says down the nose, um, right here on kind of like the apples of your cheeks, but kind of where you highlight. And 
it around your mouth. So we're going to use it like as like a chapstick balm. And then you just massage it into your skin. Tap it, you know, however you want to do it. Now, I really, really wished I had you know, clear skin. I wished I didn't have any discoloration that I had to cover up, but I kind of figured out for me, I'm going to just kind of tweak it a little bit. Um, and I'm going to add like the lightest, lightest, surest amount of like some CC cream over it. So now we have the moisture. You can see how well it's hydrated my nose. You can see it on the forehead and the cheeks and then um well around my lips obviously you can it's a chapstick or a lip balm now this next stick is a it's got this shade it's kind of like a it's almost like a rosy color um but this stick a uh, multitasking stick is so still using a separate lipstick blush bronzer and contour color question mark Instead, simply apply this multitasking boomstick wherever you naturally flush for a look of radiant joy. So this is how where you apply this stick to. Pretty easy, pretty simple. And if you're going to just use it for your lipstick, this is something that I'll probably add on last. Um, and this just creates a look of natural healthy radiance um, like you get after a great workout by applying it to your lips. The apples of your cheeks or under your cheekbones for added definition, your neck, and anywhere you naturally flush. So then you use your clean fingertips, of course. You always want to do everything with clean hands when you're doing your makeup, anything when you're going to touch your face. Um, and your clean fingertips and then you blend it. So this is a this is different for everyone. So notice where color naturally shows when you blush and apply it there. So depending on where you blush, so it's not going to be exactly like this, but again, I'm going to use it exactly like it shows here. So I'm going to do it right up here. You see, gives you that, that color, kind of like a bronzer where you would normally put your bronzer on your cheeks. I'm going to go a little tiny bit lower than where I normally contour and on your lips. So I'll use that last as, well, maybe, let me just try to apply it now. And it really just gives you like, I don't know, like a, just a sheer, almost natural lip color. So it actually like gives you like your natural, got it on my tooth, um, like a natural lip color and then again, you're going to blend it in with your fingertips. I'm just going to blend it like upward. You see, it gives you like a bronze, rosy type look. Just blend it up where, kind of where the sun hits really um you can also add it like to the bridge of your nose if you want to because you know sun hits there also i've been wanting to try this for so long i actually ordered the the glow moisturizing stick and i've had that for a while and i use that as a moisturizer i just didn't show you guys because i wanted to wait until i got like all three of them so that i could you know the boomstick trio um so you see how it gives you like just like a hint of color is if you were sitting out in the sun. So I'm in natural sunlighting, so the light's going to be a little bit different. So it's going to look kind of different on each side, but um, it's really, it feels really good on your lips. It feels really good on your skin. It doesn't feel like greasy or slick. Um, it just literally feels like a nice balmy moisturizer. Now the last stick I'm gonna use is the highlighting stick. And it's a real pretty, like, um, it's got a little purple hue to it and it's got highlight in it. You can see it's like a highlighter. 
and this is where you apply tops of your cheekbones so we're gonna go like way top um, on the brow bone and your eyelids you could put it on your inner corners of the eyes for extra glamour apply to your cupid's bow and the center of your lips you can also apply this shimmer boomstick to your neck, your decollete, or like your collarbones and stuff like I always add highlight to my collarbones and stuff, especially now in spring and summer. I always add that. So it shows you here how to add it, but again, you can customize it to where you like to highlight. And But again, I'm going to do it exactly where it shows. So I'm going to put it right above. And it's like highlight, so it doesn't really give you like a purple color, even though it looks like purple, but it, it's like the lightest, lightest purple hue. Um, I don't even know if that's the right word. And your brow bone, so I'm going to try not to get it over my entire brow. And I'm going to just apply it right on my brow bone where I normally add highlight anyway. This is so cool. Like you guys, I don't know if you've tried it. Let me know if you've tried it. Now this is, I, this is geared more towards mature skin. Um, I would love to, and I will use it alone if I don't have to go anywhere. Of course you want to add a little bit. If you're going out, you know, in the daytime, you want to add your sunscreen. Um, but I'm going to just pick a day where I'm going to just wear it alone and your Cupid's bow, you can see, you see it here, your brow bone. Now I'm going to add some into my inner corner just for the little pop of color. Where's my little tiny oh no we're not going to use that one that one has color on it okay so I'm going to just use this tiny little pencil brush sorry the train is going by now I'm going to put this to the inner corners like it suggests and I always add an inner corner highlight anyway can you see gives it like a highlight pop of color I didn't color correct my eyes. I haven't done anything else. Um, I am going to color correct and, and do the minimalist amount of makeup and then I'll show you guys, you know, once I get that done, but I'm not going to use a whole lot of product today at all. A little more there. And then it says to put it like right here. See how it just like highlights the middle of your lip. I love this, you guys. Um, if, if you haven't tried it and you have mature skin, even if you don't have mature skin, I highly, highly recommend it. Um, you can go on and look at all the reviews. It's got great reviews and it just gives you such a nice, healthy, a healthy look, a healthy glow. You know, it gives you a little bit of color. So if you want to just throw in some mascara and, you know, obviously my brows are done, but if you want to just throw in a coat of mascara and call it good, or even throw on a pair of lashes, you know, out the door, good. You don't have to add anything else. You don't have to do setting powder. I mean, you can, you know, you can do whatever you want. You can add whatever you want to this, but this is just what it recommends to do and I'm basically, you know, taking it as, as, you know, you can use this under your makeup or it can just stand alone, you know, on its own. Now these compact multitaskers last a long time. According to our customers, Boomstick's color lasts six to eight months with daily use. So if you use this every day, it's going to last you six to eight months. Boomstick's Boomstick Glimmer lasts 8 to 12 months. 
and the Boomstick Glow generally lasts two to four months because you're using that more as a moisturizer and you're using it over more parts, you know, of your face and um, different areas of your face. Um, so you can see that you're really putting it, you know, in multi areas um, as far as like your collarbones and your decollete and everything. So I can see how that would last like two to four months. You can make it last as long as you want. You can order these by themselves, like just single use uh, or single stick. You don't have to get all three of them. But I just thought it was so, so cool. Like Boomstick Trio. It just sounds so cool. And oh, I've been dying to try this with you guys. And I'm just so glad today. This is what I'm doing. So I'm going to go in with the most minimal amount of makeup and we'll come back and I'll show you guys what I did and how it looks, I don't know, adding to this already glowy, dewy, healthy look. So I'll be right back. I forgot to add it to my eyelids. So um, I was just like, duh, I didn't have to put the whole stick up here. I could have just used this and then just picked it up off of there. So I'm going to add it to my eyelid for, and I'm gonna do it like right in my crease. Now, if you don't wanna, you know, wear eyeshadow today or, you know, whenever you're using it, you don't have to, you can use this as your eyelid shade. Just gives you like a nice, pretty shimmery eye. So it's not really like, it's not like jumping out at you, but if you look, you know, close enough, or if you're telling somebody like, this is what I used today, like you can totally see the areas where I applied it to, um, like inner corners, you could really see, um, you can see the brow bone, you can see, you know, the highlighted cheekbone, it kind of like carved out your cheeks, gave you a little bit of a contour. Um, so we're going to go ahead and just add the smallest amount of makeup now and I'll be back. We're back. So I want you guys to know what I used on my skin um, and just the minimal things that I added to just give it a finished look with, you know, a little bit of coverage because I have so many you know, blue lines and veins and brown spots. And you can see that brown spot there is showing. So like I used the smallest amount and I wanted to use something, you know, definitely a CC cream, but um, with the most um, healthy ingredients. And you guys know I love It Cosmetics. It's one of my absolute favorite brands I have the foundation, I have the CC creams, um, the brushes, the you name it. Um, I love It Cosmetics. I have their under eye, bye bye redness. I have the under, a bye bye under eye. Like I use a ton of It Cosmetics products, but I went in with the CC cream and it does have an SPF of 50 already. And I used the light shade. So I just went in with the smallest amount and what I did was I just put a little bit on the back of my hand and then I used this stippling brush which I normally use for um, blush um, and then I just like lightly got the foundation on there and just lightly went over so I didn't move um, the sticks what I put on here I didn't move any of that from the area um, I tried very carefully to just blend like over it, kind of using more tapping motions. Um, you can still see where I put it up here on my forehead. You can still see the highlight. Um, I went in with the tiniest amount of concealer and I used the NYX um, Bear With Me Concealer. This is one of my favorite. Um, if you guys haven't tried this, try this concealer. Um, you just, you won't look back once you try this concealer because it is the creamiest, full coverage, but lightweight and a little of it goes a long way. So I use that and then I, um, normally you guys know I love my lashes and so going without lashes is really hard for me, but I curled my lashes and I went in with my Lancome um, Monster Big 
mascara if you haven't used tried this you have to try it because it does give you volume um, it gives you length and I need a little bit of both since I'm not gonna be wearing lashes today so that's it guys I didn't set it I'm not gonna set it I'm gonna leave everything as is and remember like you can always go back in like and add more you know you can go back in and add more um, like more highlight we'll add a little bit more highlight um, you know, you can just touch things up if you did go in with like a CC cream or any type of um, coverage, you can always, you know, go back in and add more and touch up the areas. I didn't touch the inner eye at all. Um, I didn't touch my nose other than obviously, you know, putting on the thin layer of CC cream. Um, so I'm going to just go ahead and add a little bit on the tip of my nose. and. I added a little bit more to my lips. So, what do you guys think? I think this looks so healthy, so dewy, so glowy. And, you know, talking about like no makeup makeup looks, like what we do, we do add a lot of product to our no makeup makeup looks. But this is the true no makeup makeup. Like, I'm going to wear this all day long. I'm not going to add anything to it. I'm not going to touch it up. I didn't even have to add an eyeshadow. What I did do is I went over um, my eyelids like with the tiniest amount of that um, concealer and I just kind of blended around where I put that eyeshadow and just a little bit like right in here just to take the discoloration away on my eyelids but I didn't touch the shadow. Um, and I didn't use a whole lot of product just because I have to have, you know, a little bit of coverage. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful and let me know if you've tried it or if you're going to try it. I will link it down below in my description box. And yeah, so thank you so much for hanging out with, with me. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.